Thanks, Kay. Uh, it's a big win, Dave, real, real big win. It's one of the games that I looked at, the fixtures we've got left, and I thought, you know, it's going to be really tricky to come here and get three points. They're on a roll. They've had some good results of late. Charlie and Lee Barrow have put a good side together here. They've brought three or four good players in, and they've got a bit about them. A couple of step three players, Stedman, we know, is a threat. Um, a lad that went off early doors, um, who's been about a bit decent wide right, Stevenson. And, you know, and the lad up front was handful. And I, I just, just had a feeling about today, it was going to be a difficult afternoon for us. And we've come and we've done what we've done the last couple of weeks, been big, strong, robust, difficult to break down, difficult to score against, difficult to shoot against, you know, someone's have a shot against us. Not the prettiest, you know, I'm not going to stand there and say we, we played fantastically well, we haven't, but it was comfortable. Having said you didn't play fantastically well, the first half, especially towards the end of the first half, there was a few chances there you could have gone into or through. Yeah, well, the, the pitch is really, really heavy. I mean, you don't, you don't see the true picture from up here. The pitch is heavy, and it, as soon as you, you're standing, as soon as you kick the ball, your standing foot goes. So you, you know, you got to really concentrate with just passing the ball. So you know, let's let's get that that right first. First half conditions in our favour slightly with the wind. Played some good stuff, knocked it about well. We did everything we didn't do last Saturday in the first half. Moved the ball quickly, got some good goals, good opportunities, and scored from one of those, which was key. You know, we needed to score it in the first half. Did that limited them to, to very few opportunities, a couple of shots from distance. And second half, it was always going to be difficult. The pitch was a little bit heavier because it had 45 minutes of football. And they got the wind in their favour and you know they're, they're throwing bodies forward to try, to try and score a goal to get back in the game. But it was comfortable. Adams had one shot to save. Everything else has been high and wide. Two banks of four or a bank of four and a bank of five. Bra come back down. Comfortable. You were saying uh, yesterday you were going to wait and see what the pitch was like before you chose your team. Do you, you feel you, you made the right call in the end? Well, I, well, yes, but it was kind of taken out of my hands uh, late last night. You know, we um, toyed with using one of the Wrexham lads because losing Josh Craddock central midfield, I wanted to make sure we got the right bodies. Looked at it, we got Runes and Levi on if we needed from the bench to play central midfield. And anyway, we couldn't use the Wrexham lads. You know, it's been a problem with registration for Evo Stick, so it's taken out of, our, out of our hands a little bit brought Jake Jones in, you know, it's one of those, I've said to you a few weeks ago, we need him involved as quickly as possible. Um, the only way you're going to get him fit is to play some football, train and play some football um, with like 11 games left. We've done that, we've got him on, but you know, we've probably lost him now for the season, I would imagine with that injury today. Um, have, you, have you heard any more? Well, it's, it's a, it looked real bad, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed in the way it was, um, it was dealt with, I've got to be honest, and that's why there was all the, the, the problems at the end. You know, the, the, the officials see the injury to the referee, you know, because the ball's involved. And they, uh, sorry, to the, the goalkeeper, because the ball's involved, so they, they look after their goalkeeper. But our player gets injured by going up for a header and dropping down and turning his ankle. The ball's the other side of the park, and the referee's only interested in the ball. He's not interested in what's going on the other side of the park. He's, he's there to look after the 22 players and look after the whole pitch, not just where the ball is. And for Jake to be there with his ankle hanging off, really, looked really bad and not see that for a good minute, good minute and a half. Um, I'm really, really disappointed. As it happens, we've got him in there and, and assessed him. It's bad, it's, it's, you know, it's really bad, it's really swollen. He's gonna to have to go for an x-ray, but I don't think, I thought he snapped his Achilles at first. I don't think he has, but it's, I would, I would doubt if he, he'll kick a ball again this season now. Is it, is it it's the same? other one, it's the other ankle. So it's not as if we've rushed him back, you know, and pitches, you know, don't help, but they're soft, so you wouldn't think, you know, you get that type of thing. You've gone up, come down, won his header and his ankles turned and the lads fell on him white wise so he you know it's just a free captain but still their ankle so what can you do but he's out I'd, ima I'd imagine he'd be out for the season then other than that with the, the, the one change you made dropping Dakes in midfield and putting mine up front I thought Ryan had a really good game I thought both I thought Dake has dominated the middle of the party him and Macca was superb you know in there doing what they should be doing which is especially at this time of year now when the pitch is heavy winning the first winning the seconds clipping channels making it difficult when the ball goes into our box, clearing the lines. Dakers joining in when he needed to off the front two, albeit not that well second half because they had more of the ball and I thought Ryan Winter was immense. I thought, you know, all he needed was a goal to, to cap a superb performance, won his headers, muscled the two centre halves, ran the channels. What more can you ask? A goal in a, like I said, and made, made his game for and um, Leon, another good game from Leon Miles. It's Superb. Sort of, sort of shown that if you get your chance, you know you, you yeah. stick with him. And, and, he, and, and, it's, yeah. it's and he's been he's been um, patient, mm. you know. And, and JJ's done really well. And like I've always said, if someone gets a knock or his illness or injury or whatever, then the other guy gets the opportunity. Miles is coming. I thought he was superb last week and fantastic again today. So JJ knows that. You just have to wait his turn.
uh, you were saying this was a fixture you'd looked at as a as a as a tough test. But saw the last half dozen with some local teams you played and some of the teams around you, and you've only lost one of those games. So mm-hmm. It's been a good run of fixtures. Yeah, well, we've shown that you know when um, when it's tough and you've got to, you've really got to muck in and everybody who's got to battle and throw your body in the front of bo- shots and you know and get tight to people and win headers in your box and make it difficult for the opposition to break you down. We're good at that and we do that well. We're, we're you know that's what that's I'm not gonna. Apologise. That's the way we set up. Especially any team that's going to win anything, you want to set up that way away from home. You've got to be hard to break down and hard to beat. And you know, I would have liked us to keep the ball better second half and and counter attack them better, especially with the players we had on the pitch. We didn't, but we won the game. And and, and I repeat, I thought we won it comfortably. And um, a, a really tough test next weekend. We visit Shaw Lane. Yeah. I expecting that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the pitch should be uh, in decent. Nick Robbie and the groundsmen have done some decent work on it, and it looks good. Um, Albeit we've got a game Monday night in the 21s. Um, we'll see about that. But yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, I believe they've both won. Colwell and Shaw Lane have won today, so it's as we were. Um, hopefully we'll get a real big crowd roaring us on next week. Two good training sessions and let's you know see if we can turn them over at home. Okay. Cheers, no worries, thank, thank you. you.